Thank you, thank you. So welcome everybody. I'm so glad to see a full room. I was like, what happens if only one or two people come? This is a very interactive class. So the more people, the more we're gonna interact, which is a lot of fun. Um, we will have time for questions at the end, but feel free throughout the, the, um, the workshop to be able to ask, you know, ask questions as we go, okay? So it, this is, um, so you're at a work camp, now what? How many people here, this is their very first time at a work camp? Yes, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, so as he mentioned, I, okay. There we go. So I'm Aida, and um, like he said, I am from Love Built Life. I'm a mom and a grandma. I actually have my daughter here. This is her very first work camp, Milani. And my, that's my oldest daughter, and then my youngest daughter. Mr. Nick, raise your hand. And then I also have my granddaughter here, also her first time. I am a, arts, a creative arts and lifestyle blogger, and also um, that's what I do. I'm an artist, so I teach people how to live life more creatively, and this is part of what I do. And as you see, I don't mind showing off. <laughs> I'm also a Ford VIP blogger, um, artist, speaker, designer, etc. So this is how I started my work camp journey. So this is my love, Wapu, as you see. Um, in Miami, when you go to Miami, there is a, a bot. When you, anyone here on the Slack, on here? So you know what Slack is? Okay, so most word camps have a Slack where you can follow. Well, Miami is, they change it to this particular Wapu, which is Cafecito Wapu. Wapu. And he kind of, I'm Latina, so he says all the Latina words and, you know, like, wet and all that. So I fell in love with him. So now he's my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, this is my boyfriend. This is the young, the man who introduced me. And he is the one who also introduced me to the world of WordCamp. So he's been a word camper since 2014, a speaker since 2016, and I've been doing this since 2018. And these are some of the ones that we went to. This one would be my 11th. We just um, also went to WordCamp Calgary and spoke there as well. So. Why WordCamp? So why are you here, right? So WordCamp is for everyone. It doesn't matter if you're a newbie, or if you're you know, experienced, if you've had a business forever, or you're just starting for the first time. Everyone is welcome here. Um, a beautiful uh, keynote speech I heard was exactly that, you belong here. It doesn't matter who you are, and no matter who you know, I tell you, invite them to a WordCamp, because the community is amazing. You meet all kinds of people from all over the world. So I met Ms. Carol Olinger from the German Eiffel. She um, will talk about her later on. Uh, this is me at our work camp San Jose in Costa Rica with William. We went there uh, last year and uh, we just found out we're gonna be speaking this year. You get to geek out. <laughs> Come on now. Okay, and um, it's fun for the whole family. So I already introduced you to my family. This is me and my daughter at work camp Jacksonville. And who doesn't love swag, right? So this particular picture here, this is William's old car. Okay, that's all the stickers that you, know, you guys collecting as you're going along. Um, he got a new car and it's almost there again. So, and this is the wonderful thing about WordCamp, right, because we have looked at other conferences, like the attending like a social conference. There was one that was in Jacksonville. It was $250 just to attend. That didn't include, you know, if, you, if we were coming from out of town. And we've looked at others, $300, $1,000. For 50 bucks, it's awesome. And people are talking about, and these are knowledgeable people. So this is great, you know, the price. Um, you get food, you get an after party, sometimes a before party, and you get to meet so many people. And, Enjoy. So the network pro networking possibilities are almost endless. So like I said, at the after party, um, here during the conference, and we're going to do some real interactive stuff, so you guys are going to get to kind of know each other. Um, here, this is um, Bernard Abola of Think Strategy. I met him in Atlanta twice, and um, he spoke at another at WordCamp. He is... Um, He's just an amazing guy, and he was so knowledgeable and so free with his information. Um, 
Nathan Ingram, you'll see him walking around here. He has a talk today. He's very well known in the WordPress community. Wonderful talker, uh, speaker. Um, David Zimmerman, another great speaker. He's also speaking here today. Um, and anyone know who Joshua Striebel is of Pagely? Yeah, <laughs> I figured the Pantheon guy would know. Um, a really cool guy. I met him in Miami, really down to earth. Um, Pagely is like a, what, $15 million company or something. I met the CEO. That was pretty cool. Um, so did I mention we mentioned meet people from all over the world? So remember I mentioned to you Carol Olinger from um, Germany, um, from the German Eiffel. She uh, used to be the community manager of Plesk. She just recently retired. Um, so people who know her in the WordCamp community do follow her still. Um, she is at WordCamp Europe, I think, this weekend. And her and her dog have their own Wapu. Come on. It's like, I'm, I'm working my way that way. <laughs> um, and then this particular one, this is actually in memory of, I met a wonderful lady from Nigeria. Uh, this is uh, Catherine Igwali. Uh, she was a five-time bestseller on uh, Amazon, and uh, she was a national bestseller. She actually came to Jacksonville, and we had the opportunity to drive her around, and we became really good friends. Unfortunately, we did lose her this year, so this is in memory of her. Um, I struggled with whether or not to put this in here, but she loved the community. And she knew about this, you know, before she passed. She was so excited about it. So we keep her in there for, for her. Um, here in the middle, that's Carla Camp Campos. So if you're into the Latin community, she is a speaker. She's also a celebrity. Um, Lindsay is one of the wonderful people in WordCamp San Jose. Uh, these are just things that you get to do at the after parties. You get to meet people. So, you know, here we get to talk, but at the after party, you actually get to sit and really get to know people and, and communicate with them. So, again, we're going back. Near, free to nearly free information. For $50, you get all this information, workshops, lectures, all day for two days, three days, for those of you who came to pre-camp. Um, other in, uh, expertise, other people send it uh, with their expertise. So you can go to what we're going to call sick bay, right? So it's the happiness bar. But if you have a problem with your computer or your website, someone is going to sit with you and not charge you and say, hey, yeah, this is what you can do, and you can do the other thing. That's a, that's a great thing. Um, WordPress.tv. So if you miss the other talks being here, they'll be uploaded to WordPress.tv. So you didn't really miss anything. You can actually watch them on there. And then there's hundreds, if not more, talks on there. Um, plus, the more often you go, the more you learn. But there's more, yay! So you're going to be one of the first to know. So the more you go to WordCamps, the more you're going to know. I didn't know about Gutenberg and all of that. I was doing WordPress. I learned that in a WordCamp. Someone, um, Nathan, in fact, did a uh, talk on Gutenberg and was like, oh, so we were the first ones to know this is what's coming, and this is what's going to come down the line. I'm like, oh, that was pretty neat. Um, inspiration is everywhere. So you're going to go online, and the hashtag is, and we'll go over that too, hashtag WCAVL, and follow all the other people who are tag, you know, um, tweeting and sending, putting things on um, Instagram. Um, volunteering, I actually volunteered this morning. That's my favorite thing to do, is go to the work camps and volunteer. So, and it can build confidence. This, someone tweeted this out when we went to WordCamp uh, Philly, and they were saying, I learned so much, I feel like an expert. <laughs> so I had to put this little tweet in there. <laughs> so it says, um, when did you become an expert in Google Analytics? And then it says, last night. <laughs> so I love that. Okay, so you get it. You already know why you're here. You already know why you paid your money. Um, so what are you going to do while you're here? So the very first thing I say is, visit the sponsors. So I don't get paid by anyone. I'm not, this is, I'm not plugging any particular sponsor. Um, these are the sponsors that are actually here. Um, Bluehost, these are the, not the guys that are here, but Micah and William are here today. I went, and went by to see what their names are. Um, sometimes they're just really cool people, but more importantly, first of all, this couldn't happen without sponsors. And secondly, they may have information that might actually help your business. Um, just sit down, listen to them, you know, and they may actually help your, even your personal website or what you're working on. So these are more sponsors here. Um, this is uh, actually uh, Jonathan and 
Mickey Trivet. They're both here, so you can visit them at Known Halls. Okay, so this is the interactive part. This is where we're going to actually stop. And you're like, I didn't mean come for homework, but yeah, we're going to do some a little bit of work today. Um, the next thing you can do is start posting. Okay, so whatever your social favorite social media platform is, we're going to post right now, like right now. So we're going to get out our phones. Okay, <laughs> and we're going to start sharing our experience. So let's see phones. I want to see phones coming out. So what do you post? So you have to excuse me. I am a Latina from New York, so I speak really fast. So I'm going to try my best to slow down a little, okay? All right. So if you're not sure what to post, so what was your favorite quote of the day? So we are the first ones this morning, but you, did anyone get to hear Chris Lima speak? So anything special that he said that you're like, oh, that was really cool, I want to remember that, you could just quote it, say a great talk by Chris Lima, and then quote it, and then you can put it on uh, t Twitter. So remember, here are the hashtags. Hashtag WCAVL. And at WordCamp. Okay? Tag your favorite speakers. Now, this is stuff that I want you to do through the, the whole time that you're here. Um, just tag them. It means a lot to a speaker when you tag them on your, in, um, on your social media. It just encourages them and makes them feel like, oh, wow, you know, they did hear me. Oh, they did enjoy it. Um, this was actually a recommendation from another speaker. Take a cool picture and post it. So for now, since we haven't had a chance to walk around, anyone took pictures of the mountains? Great, take a picture of the mountains and say, hey, I'm in work camp Asheville, um, hashtag WCAVL, here's you know, a beautiful picture of the mountains. Let me tell you, we come from Florida, so the whole way here was kind of flat, flat, flat. And then South Carolina was pretty, and then we get up, and then it was like, okay, exit one. And just a little bit up, there was the mountain. It was like, oh, yeah, North Carolina delivered on some mountains. That was beautiful. Okay. So since we haven't had a chance, you can take a selfie right now and share it. And you could also share a video of your experience. So videos are really cool. You could just grab your phone, kind of talk and chat to yourself. And it's fine. I won't feel, you know, I won't feel some kind of way if you're looking at yourself taking pictures. And then feel like, okay, great. Anybody post? You already posted? <laughs> don't forget, hashtag WCAVL. So if you don't know about hashtags and the at symbol, so if you just do the at symbol at WordCamp Asheville, that will only go to Asheville. But if you do the hashtag WCAVL, everyone will be able to see what you're posting. Who's ever following that hashtag? And then throughout the day, you might have an aha moment. Now, let me tell you, this is one of the tricks that you're going to learn, what that you're learning, is that you may not remember that aha moment when you get home. It may be something great that someone said, but if you post it, you'll remember it. OK. So um, we're going to talk with other campers. And this is part of this interactive thing. So what we're going to do is because part of this is going to go on WordCamp TV, we're going to take about six or seven minutes, and we are going to speak to each other. Because this is the most important part of being in a WordCamp, is networking. But that's hard. I will tell you, when I first started, I didn't. And I may be. Excuse me, I may be friendly, but I'm not that friendly. So when I started, I would sit in the happiness bar and kind of just sit and listen and kind of honestly eavesdrop <laughs> on conversations because most of it was about, you know, computers and stuff and people would be talking tech or whatever and, you know, smile and just, and before you know it, someone starts a conversation with you and you start talking with them. So if you're a little on the shy side, that's one way to do it. Um, but we're actually going to take a minute 
for a few minutes to do this. Now, what I am going to ask is that I could, if I can get some people who would be willing to volunteer to just speak while other people are speaking to each other so that when they're doing the WordCamp TV, it's not just dead space of people just murmuring, where you can actually come up here and share your business and who you are and what it is that you're doing, okay? So if I can get five volunteers or so, okay? So we are actually going to stop at this point, and we're going to talk to one another. So this is very simple. Hey, I'm Aida. How you doing? So what do you do? I um, run a fire protection company. Oh, okay. So this is what I do. I'm an artist, and this is what I do for a living. See? Okay. So exactly. So I'm going to give you guys five minutes to just kind of go up to each other. And introduce each other. Go ahead. I think I'm talking too fast. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. So can I get a volunteer to come up here with me? The first volunteer. Anybody? Come on. Okay. So, tell me your name. <laughs> okay. So, if you're in um, Word, WordPress TV and you're watching this, make sure that you beat people wherever you go, especially if you come out to a WordCamp. But this is easy to do wherever you go. So we're going to introduce this one person here. Okay, what's your name? Naomi Sims. And what do you do? Do you go to school? Uh, not anymore. Oh, you're yeah. off for the summer. Okay, Naomi Sims is off for the summer. Okay, what else do you do? I do YouTube, Instagram, um, and Facebook. It's YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. All right. So, right. Okay. Thank you, Miss Naomi Sims. So that's Miss Naomi Sims. Do, do you have something else to share? No? <laughs> Any other volunteers? Come on. Hmm? Oh, oh, no, um, it was for the TV. Okay. Okay. Okay, so if you have been sitting with one person for a long time, I want you to get up and switch with someone else. That's right. Introdu introduce. <laughs> so remember to ask names. What do you do? Exchange business cards. Everyone is introducing themselves. Come on up here. Come on in. So I was asking for volunteers. So will you be one of my volunteers to speak Absolutely. into the camera? So we're going to introduce Miss April here. Oh, why? Why are we <laughs> So while they're, while they're talking, are they, are they getting to know, they're getting to know each other. Okay. So what I was doing was inter interviewing people so that people on WordPress TV are not just watching a bunch of people just murmuring. Ah. So they're just talking to the camera. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to start wrapping up our little conversations. So if you wanted to introduce yourself to one more person, we're going to wrap it up. Okay, so now that everyone has had an opportunity to speak with one another, it wasn't that hard, right? It wasn't that hard. Does, does anyone know what the number one pickup line in the world is? Hello. Hello. It's hey. How are you? And that's not really that hard, right? So you guys actually met a bunch of people, and just that was just in five minutes. Imagine what you can do in two days. Okay, um, so I'm going to ask, do we have some volunteers that be willing to just stand up and introduce someone they met and tell me about them? Anybody? Okay, anybody willing to come up and tell me about yourself? Come on, all right, yeah. That's awesome. Because you're going to be doing this too. Hi, everybody, how are you doing? Okay, I'm Maria, but I want to introduce you to Amy. Amy is a story writer, she's a creator, and she loves Star Trek. She even brought her own tribble. Yay. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. So there you go, Amy. Amy, yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Come on up, come on up. Hello, my name is Talia. I'm from Columbia, South Carolina. This is my first word camp. Yay, welcome, Yay. Talia. So uh, this is for me. I don't know anything <laughs> for WordPress. But I met Dwayne. He's right there. And he's from San Francisco. He came a long way. He also attends a lot of work camps. And he is a speaker today. So if you get a chance, he'll be speaking on um, Markdown. So for developers. But he also works with Pantheon, Pantheon. which is a hosting company. And they help people that need... Um, who need a lot of things done. So yeah. stop by their table and meet Dwayne. She could be doing the talk. Look at that. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> Great job. You see how easy that is? And it's not just about networking for each other, but you know, I'm constantly saying, hey, oh, you do video? I know someone does video. Oh, look, let me introduce you. Like this lady here, I have to, I'm going to introduce her. Come on and look at her. She's a sweetheart. She was, the first time I saw her speak, this is April Weir, and did I say that right? Weir. Weir. Yeah. Um, April Weir. Um, the first time I saw her speak was in WordCamp Jacksonville. Um, she speaks on business and how to really get yourself together. And for me, that was so important because the very most important thing that she talked about was you're not selling anything. You're actually offering a service that's going to help someone. And I was so, it was so hard for me to charge for what I was doing. That was so difficult. But when she said that, I was like, that's it. That was my aha moment, right? And I still to this day, and I'm going to tell you guys how you go through these notes because you're going to be going through all these classes and taking all these notes. I still go through my notes and follow some of the stuff. She has other talks. And you're talking today, this yes. weekend. Yep. So yep. when is your talk? Uh, today at 4, I think. Today at four. At some point, I'll just show up. It, <laughs> it is worth going to her talk, especially if you're in Don't business. So yeah, <laughs> no, but seriously, it definitely is. Um, absolutely. So you know, you're not only going to meet people for yourself, but you may know someone you know that needs that service. Um, another place to meet people, obviously, is sitting during lunch. During the after party, these are great times. And then, like I said, introduce you to, to each other. Don't just keep people to yourself. I like that. Yeah, us too. You know what? Um, we, this, like I said, this is our 11th, and it's like coming home to family. 
Like we are, we get so we geek out. Like, oh my God, it's work camp! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited! And then we get here, and it's like, oh look, there's April! Oh look, there's Mickey! Oh look, there's Nathan! You know, it's so. Oh look, there's Nathan right there, all the way in the back. Everybody, look! Hey! It's so exciting. It's like, it's like extended family. It's just wonderful. Okay, so once it's all over, what do you do? So. You are going to be taking a lot of notes through this whole thing, right? So the first thing you want to do is continue to post, okay? What we did when we stopped and we did the selfie and we, you know, quoted someone. Do that throughout the day. Do it throughout the weekend. But then afterwards, continue to do it. Keep it fresh in your mind. Um, What was your favorite workshop? Take pictures of the venue. Take pictures of the city. It's a beautiful city. Um, Make sure that you tag the organizers and the speakers. It means a lot to the organizers, too, because they're volunteering their time. They want to know you came here, and you loved it, and you loved the people that they chose, and that you enjoyed the speakers, that you enjoyed your time here, that they did a good job. Um, They will send you a survey afterwards. Make sure that you fill it out so that they can do a better job for the next year, or do the same job if you thought it was great. Um, And then if you have hashtags, you know, with your buddies, I think, um, I don't know if this one has it. Oh, yeah. So on your little badges, if you look underneath your badge, it says at. That's your Twitter handle. That means if you want to follow someone, look at their Twitter handle. It's a little dark, but you can ask them. I'm sure they'll be happy to share it. Follow each other. Talk to each other. Um, I didn't put the picture in here, but there's someone I met on Twitter I never met them in person, and they were like, oh, you're going to work camp Asheville? I'm, I mean, to uh, work camp Atlanta? So am I. Oh, okay, great. And he's like, I can't wait to meet you. And that's what we did. We met each other in Atlanta. We were like, oh, great, look, this is William, and this is Aida. It's great. It's wonderful. Can you tell I like work camp? That's why I do this talk. So break it down. You're going to be taking a lot of notes throughout the entire time that you're here. So how do you build a starship? Just like you eat an elephant, one part at a time. Okay, I know it's a little corny. (laughs) Um, Make sure that you get speaker slides. Um, Most of the speakers will offer slides afterwards. They'll let you know, here's the link. You can get the slides, or um, they'll post it out on Twitter. Some speakers only have their slides for a short period of time. Grab them while they have them. Otherwise, you're going to miss out on that. Um, Highlight the most important information in your notes. So if you're taking notes today, or you're taking notes you know, right now, number one, make sure you get the full name of your speaker. Number two, make sure you get the correct name of the talk, because when you're looking for it on WordPress.tv, if you don't have that information, it's going to be very hard to find them. It does not always come up as what the WordCamp is. Um, so you want to make sure you have the right name for the talk and the right name for the speaker. Um, Decide right now how you want to use the information that you're gathering. Are you using it for your business? Are you using it for your website? So that as you're writing, what I do when I'm writing my notes is I make like sections, and then I'll highlight that section, whether it would be like with a a big box around it. If someone says something important, I have a highlighter in my bag. I write it down, and then I highlight it. So then when I'm going back, I can go, oh, yeah, I wanted to remember that. Because otherwise, it becomes just a blur of words, and you're not going to remember, oh, that was important, that wasn't so. Um, Send out emails. If you met people and you said, oh, yeah, I'm going to email you, email them. (laughs) Like if you say, I'm going to follow up with you, follow up. Because if you really want to keep that contact, you want to do that right away. Because three weeks, four weeks from now, which I have to admit, I can be bad that way, they're not going to remember. So unless you're like extra flamboyant, and I can say, oh, I was the girl in the Star Trek uniform, you're not going to remember who I was, right? Um, Follow up with your leads and connections. um, And put contacts with notes in your phone. So I tell people if you get a business card, rather than having just a pile of business cards in your bag, take a picture of it. I'm I'm an Android girl, so I use Google Keep. But I think uh, iPhone has like Evernote or something. Take a picture of it, and then underneath it, make a note. Oh, I met April in Jacksonville. She talks about this. I remember she said this. So then when I see her again, I can put the face 
with the card and the whole thing comes. I'm going to tell you, I forget people constantly. This is the only place where I actually go and I remember people's names. I remember what they do. I remember where I met them. I'm like, this must be my people because otherwise I don't remember anything. Um, another thing is if you keep notes, I just keep a... I used to, you know, I'm old school, so phones are new for me, but I would take the business card and tape it to my notebook and then just jot down notes underneath. So, so these are other things that you can do. Um, invite your new contacts to like you and follow you. Uh, make sure that you reciprocate. Right? So don't say, hey, follow me on Twitter, and then you don't follow back. You know what I mean? Like, if you want people to follow you, you want to follow them. Um, whatever it is, if, you know, if you want them to check out your website, check out their website. It only takes a minute, you know, to just say, hey, I'll follow. And later on, if you feel like, well, okay, you know, we're not connecting, you can always change that. Um, consider collaborating in the future. So I do websites for startups, and that's all I do. I do not do big websites. That's not what I do. It's for people who are on a budget. You know, any developers in here? Yeah, OK. So, um, so you know, so most of them won't take it under a certain amount. I'm usually the one that's like, OK, I'll take those, only because I'm only doing super, super simple. So I don't um, manage websites and those kinds of things. So I find I meet people, and they go, well, I manage websites. Great, I'm going to take your car. So that next time I have a client that needs some management, I'll give it to you. I don't do that. So this is a great way to, to delegate. You know, if you have too much on your plate, there's plenty of people who do what you don't do, or as you grow, who do the things you don't want to do later, and you can say, OK, I remember connecting with such and such. Let me give them that. Um, local WordPress meetups are also a great way to A, meet other people, but also B, to speak. So anyone here have an expertise? I'm sure there's plenty of you and no, no one's raised their hand. So what do you do? So tell me some of, some of the things that you guys do. Sales training. Sales training. Huh? Contracts. Huh? Contracts. Contracts. Wow. Great. See? So that's an expertise that, trust me, a lot of people who are in business would love to hear about. And what, did, what were you saying? Selling, also selling, that's great. And you know what, and here's the thing. You can speak about selling, and she can speak about selling, but you're not going to talk about it in the same way. And you may have information she doesn't have, and vice versa. And there may be something that I'm going to get from your talk that I didn't get from her talk. So don't be shy. This is, you know, it's, I know it's your first, for a lot of you, your first time. But think about, as you're here, who can I share my expertise with? Who would be interested? And trust me, this is a wonderful community. There is from very beginner stuff, um, bloggers. One of my talks is starting a blog, even if you think you can't write. So beginner bloggers, um, community stuff. Uh, there was a wonderful talk on how to manage your time, how to balance your time. So if you're good at balancing and managing time management, which I'm not, <laughs> that's a great talk. Um, those kinds of things, think about as you're going along, like how could I contribute to the WordPress community? And WordPress meetups are a great way to get your feet wet. So if you're like, oh, I don't want to do it at a WordCamp, do it at a meetup. The groups are much smaller. If you go there often enough, there are people you know, and it'll give you good feedback, and then you can apply to go to a WordCamp. Um, if your city doesn't have one, and I know Asheville does, but if you're coming in from out of town, anyone here from out of town from another city? Oh, so where are you from again? Uh, Woodstock, Georgia. Woodstock, Georgia. OK, where are you from? Uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh, wow, you came a while too. Where are you too? Who's, who else was from out of town? Durham, North Carolina. Durham, North Carolina. OK. Who else had their hand up? Oh. OK. Oh, OK. And Okay, awesome. Well, okay, good. Yeah, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, wow, y'all guys coming way too. Anyone else want to share? You know, you go, go ahead. Knoxville Tennessee. Knoxville, Tennessee. So we went to, where did we go? Where was um, US? Nashville. 
Nashville. Nashville, Tennessee, yeah. So we went to Work Camp US is it in Nashville. Um, this year we'll be in New Orleans. St. Louis, St. Louis, Missouri, that's right. That's right, it's gonna be in Missouri. So, you know, people come from not all over the country, but like I said, sometimes uh, we went to, I think it was in Birmingham, there was someone from, uh, they were from out of the country. Do you remember where they were from? Uh, South Africa? Yes. yes, there was someone from South Africa who came to work camp Birmingham last year. So. They can come from wherever, so it's, that's wonderful. But if you're in your local area and you do not have a WordPress meetup, you can certainly contact WordPress Central and let them know we're interested in starting one, and you can start one in your area. And then make plans to go to another work camp. This particular area is very bustling. You know, you see people come from all over. Um, work camp Greenville was in. March, I think it was? Yeah. February, March. It's, it gets a blur after a while, but it was not too long ago, but there was one in Greenville. Um, Atlanta's not too far away, but there are several that are still coming, Lehigh, and, and um, that's in Philadelphia, which is not too, too, too far. Jacksonville. Yes, and Jacksonville is in two weeks if you want to come on down to the sunny state of Florida. Uh, William and I are actually going to be doing the kids' camp, so that's another thing. Kids can get involved. Um, if you don't, if they, your local work camp doesn't have a kids camp, uh, you can contact them and let them know, hey, we'd be interested in bringing our kids. Um, kids camp generally is from ages seven to 14, and they learn how to use WordPress and do a blog, so everyone can get involved. Remember I told you it's great for the whole family. So apply to be a speaker, like I said. If not, you know, at least in your local WordPress meetup, uh, no experience necessary. You do not have to be a speaker and know how to do that. Um, plenty of people in the WordCamp community would be more than happy to help you listen to your talk, even if you don't want to do it publicly just yet, and say, hey, you know what? I think that's great. Maybe you want to add this. Maybe you want to do the other thing. Um, consider tag teaming with a, another speaker. My very first talk ever was with him. <laughs> I was so nervous. Oh my goodness, and let me tell you, you see this talk here? See how I'm kind of like talking and we're interacting. My very first time doing this, I did it in 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed, but I did. I was so nervous, I did it in 15 minutes. But um, I got a lot of good feedback afterwards. People were very happy, so that was a good thing, so that's why I continued it. Um, and don't forget to volunteer, because everything that you see here, the organizers, the people who are speaking, the people who helped you get your swag, the people who helped you register, people are volunteering their time, and that's what makes this a great community. And like I said, keep going to work in. So this is the part if you guys have questions, I'll be more than happy to um, answer some questions for you. Um, and yeah. <laughs>